Today in our Ask the Expert segment, we will be examining the area of business creation. With the economy on an upswing, more and more people are looking into starting their own business. If you are one of them, one of the questions that you probably have is, should I incorporate my business? To answer that, we went to our legal expert, Brett Thompson, at the Thompson Law Group in Virginia Beach for some advice. So I do get questions all the time from small business owners. Should I incorporate? Why should I incorporate? What are the pros and cons? Um, so there's three main areas I want to cover. Number one, your personal liability, the exposure to personal liability. Number two, accounting and tax um, preferences. And number three, the scalability. Um, number one, your personal liability. If you're transacting business in your individual name, all right, if there's any kind of breach of contract or any claim from any of the vendors that you work with or your customers, you would be the named defendant in a lawsuit, all right? And all of your stuff, if you will, your house, your bank account, your cars, that would all be subject to and exposed to a lawsuit. Limiting that li liability, for example, a LLC, a limited liability company, a corporate entity will separate you and your assets from the assets of the company. And if anything were, were to arise from a legal standpoint in regards to the company, only the company's assets would be exposed and not you. Number two, accounting and tax purposes. Now, I'm not a, a, a CPA or a tax professional, but I'll just tell you in generalities that to have a separate bank account in the separate corporate name where you can run all your business expenses through there and you can track all the income is much cleaner. Your accountant is going to really appreciate that. And also, it's going to be easy for your accountant to decipher between your personal expenditures and your business expenditures because several of your business expenditures may be um, tax deductible. And then finally, um, scalability, all right, and for uh, the model of your success, meaning that if you add different lines of business that are separate and apart from one another, you may want to have the separate line of business in its own corporate entity. For example, a general contractor that builds houses, if you wanted to get into a plumbing specialty, we would have a, a separate company just for that, and maybe a separate HVAC company, a separate water restoration company and so they would be separate and apart with a firewall so if there was any litigation pertaining to one line of business it would not bleed over into the other lines of business so it would separate and limit the liability from the businesses and we could also scale up talking about um, holding companies and whatnot um, and just go from there and, and th there's never an end to it. Thanks Brett. For those that want to learn more they can connect with Brett Thompson and the Thompson Law Group in Virginia Beach at tlgva.com or call them at 757-486-3333.